today I am going to show you how to use structure map IOC container for implementing dependency injection in my ASP.NET MVC5 application. So after installing the nugget package for structure map.mvc5 what we have got is a structure map mvc.cs file after that we have got dependency resolution folder is there so what we are interested in over here is the default registry where we will be registering our mappings so let me show you my data tier so in my data tier i have got two projects data and data dot entities data consists of the db context repositories and all the migrations and data dot entities consist of the entities which will be used in my database so if you see over here i am using the default connection as a connection string for my application i have created a employee class which is over here so i have in my repositories if you see i have created a generic repository which is which is accepting a type of t entity where t entity is a class so i am going to implement the structure map ioc container for my asp.net mvc5 application so i am going to go in my default registry dot cs file here we need to create a mapping for i've got data dot Uh, I I need to first map it with DB context, which is in the system dot data dot entity dot DB context to for and I am going to use it for data dot entities dot data dot structure map example db context so this is going to use transient which is the default property whenever we do our mapping So after mapping this in our default registry, what I am going to do is I will go in my controllers. I have created an employee controller over here. So I have got two methods over here, index controller and create. So first of all, what I need to do is to use my dependency injection. I need to create a generic repository let me make this private this is going to use the employee class So now what I will do is this is going to be a repo I will copy this add it over here remove this thing and I am going to do a 
dependency injection through constructor underscore repo is going to be repo so this is going to be taken care by the structure map so after doing this I will create a action result for my create this is going to take data dot entities dot student employee this is going to be a employee now I need to have a view for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it repo dot you can see all the generic repositories method over here insert I'm going to insert my employee I'm going to commit it now let me run this application I'm going to navigate to employee controller to the create method it is saying the current you request for action create on controller type employee controller is ambiguous between the following action methods okay so this was like a very silly mistake which I made so it is complaining for ambiguity because I have not defined a post over here so let me uh, add a post HTTP post so this is going to submit my form let me navigate to employ then create okay so now we can see our first name last name and age let's say test test age is going to be 30 let me create so if I see in my database then I am able to see the results I hope that you have understood how to use structure map in your application please feel free to ask any questions if you have thanks for watching the video